Okay. Testing. Hello. Is everyone here? Oh, no my mic. Mic up. Good. Camera on. Camera on. Camera on. Hello. Camera on. Camera on. Okay. Hmm. Can't wait, maybe. Okay. Okay. Ah. Hmm. What? How do I begin? I actually have a lot to talk about. A lot. Yeah. Um. Okay. L let me talk about. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh. uh it it's my hand. It's. It's alright. Uh. I think it's best if I like play some games in the background so that you guys have some other things to watch about. I have a lot to explain. Bear with me. <laughs> okay. Just bear with me a bit. Okay. Is it on? No, it's not on. Uh, graphics. Oh, I see the problem now. Okay. Okay then. Window it is. <sighs> hmm. Where do we begin with the story? Okay, as you see the thumbnail. Um. Can't tell Morgan. You're prepared to do this. That's fine. Now, the reason I feel like this is the thing that I need to talk about is mainly because um, it's been a seven years since the whole thing began. So I think this is just enough time where I can, like that has passed, that I can finally explain. So. As you can see, a lot of people kind of notice about my character is that it's appears a bit too young for some of them, saying that like they don't really like you know. So there's this thing called shoujo. So basically, it is sort of like lollies but boys. It basically just anime boys, no boys, cute little boys. That's it. A lot of people question my decision on why um, I chose my character to be look like this. That that's a huge reason behind it. You see, in my last shorts, I already mentioned that <laughs> I'm really into, you know, um, people are a bit on the dominant side. I would say. Of things a bit more. Um, what's the opposite of passive? I forgot. In in terms of dating, like a bit more. I don't know, aggressive. I don't know. I I don't know. If this is a weird word. Essentially, I I like girls who are a bit 
you know, would willing to take care of me and stuff. I know I'm not looking for sugar mommy, I just, like, I mean, emotionally. <laughs> I mean, I'm always that kind of guy that was a bit shy and stuff in terms of dating. You know, and whilst growing up, I never really had much compliments with from girls. Well, except for one, which I'm going to explain. In love, I've always tried to chase things. Always wanted to be, you know, the main guy, the, 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 the man in the relationships for quite some time. In my life, because that's what I thought, that's the only way it could have been done. You know, many generals and stuff. Um... Well, until I met a one girl, really. Um, okay, so back in those days, I really had a crush on a lot of girls. You know, some of my classmates, some of my um, juniors. I mean, one of them is my junior, only one of them. I have to draw them in comic books and stuff, actually, when I first started drawing, actually. And I often, like, ship them together with me for some reason. It's, it's just a me thing, really. And then... I went into middle school. Now, in middle school, I'm lucky enough to go to a really good middle school in Hong Kong. However, I was actually kind of having a hard time, mainly because um, I was getting hated a lot by my classmates uh, for, for no reason. You, you know what? I, I think for further explanation, I do need. Um, Some um hmm. hold up. I I I think it's best if I um if I change it a bit. Hold up. Okay. Um. Can you believe I haven't? Okay. I think this is a better look on. Well, trying to say, you, you, you know, things get serious when I start to have red eye. I mean, heterochromia or something like that. You, you know what I mean. Okay. So, it was during one of my hardest years of my life, both socially and mentally, a lot of ways. I was getting, you know, not, not many people really care about me. You know, I didn't, you know, wish I could have more, but obviously I don't. Um, and during one day, I sort of joined the astronomy club. And they have a barbecue event, so I signed it up. And there's this girl there who is a senior who is some sort of chairman of the story club, something like that. Three, three years older than me, actually. If I remember, she's a uh, continent, she's three years older than me. And unlike most drawings I made with me and shipping with like on their hands and stuff, um. The height is actually reversed. I when I saw her, I can't believe she was actually that short. I was actually taller than her by half head, I think. But you know, my height was like shorter than what I am. So you can probably get how short she was. Um. Yeah, even though she doesn't look particularly like a senpai is supposed to be, you know. But she she still got that energy, I would say. She kind of got that energy, the big to the energy, if you know what I mean. Um, so she kind of pulled me, like kind of teased me a little bit. I don't know what. I I just obviously find infuriated, you know. Um, 
sort of ask her like why do you do this to me and stuff like that but and then she sort of mentioned that I'm kinda cute and it all goes down here from there <laughs> just one night a barbecue night um, all she did is to call me cute and I'm just really hope like I, I've okay um, first of all ladies um, one thing that you need to know about us men is that whenever you give us compliments it will stick for with us for a very long time till like it will stick with us till we pass away in our bed and we'll still remember about you but and what you said especially when we're having some really hard times actually and I kind of learned it the hard way and that's how I sort of still managed to know her after like seven years like I rem remember her um, I was a bit of a let's just say soon a little bit I, I, yeah I, I'm, I'm honestly in real life I'm pretty much just in a lot of ways um, it isn't much, she, she just got me killed and treat me as her friend, like one well, of her best friends I suppose. You know and said that, you know, I'm the like the only kid who is like year one, I mean like year six. I mean the first year in middle school that's actually participated because the rest of them are all seniors. Um, and I sort of slowly get get to know more about her. Now, of course, I have it, take interest in other girls back then. I, I didn't really notice much. At first, I sort of like denied her existence of, from a lot of days. I just maybe occasionally I just try to flex and joke around about that ha what happened, but then realized that. That feeling that what she gave me, like, you know, just just one compliment. That's sort of get me hooked in, in a way. Um Now I was you know, given how bad I am around people, I mean socially, how <laughs> not a good I am. I always try to figure out how to impress others, pretending that I'm look cool, you know, for try to follow the lazy strands as much as possible. But then the, that girl just came along and just say, for me, like it signals to me that she likes for who I am and not you know I, I didn't even pretend to be like really really cool and stuff you know I think she's the first person well at least girl I know that actually sort of tells me that she likes for who I am and I don't need to do much and stuff. I, I I just have to be, you know, honest with myself. Before then, I got to admit I did a lot of pretending in my life just to fit in. And she kind of like hit on me, you know. Over the next year or two, um, I occasionally do find her in her classroom, I suppose, when I when I get a chance. Um, I think I took a picture of me and her during a sports day, but then eventually, um, you know, things hasn't gone that well for me mentally. Um, as people started to throw rumors at me more and more, throw, throw shit at me more and more. 
And I started to have my own problems as well, including um, some academic ones, like I need to like get my grades up. Because it's sort of like GCSE, where you can choose what subjects you can you want to do in the future, sort of at that period, but much earlier than GCSE. I don't know how to describe it, the situation. It's let's just say I've been in a highly competitive school academically, and there are some subjects that I excel at. However, there are a lot more that sort of like drags me down. You know what I mean? I have to spend a lot of time on subjects that I don't know. In 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 by doing so, I sacrificed a lot of the things that I'm good at. And of course, this also includes my parents' expectations on me. You know, um, things aren't going well, and I remember myself literally crying in the toilet for hours. But then I sort of remember what she said, you know. As I told you ladies, um, a, a, a tiny compliment does go a long way for a guy. And in the end, I tried my best to get her back, I suppose. Um, but at that time, she, she, she is she's going through public exams, trying to get into university. So I sort of ignored her for a bit, just for her sake. And then when things started to get better, I sort of like called her up every now and then, you know, message her. Um, and yeah, she went to the university, um, good for her I suppose, uh, into law school, if I remember. But um, I think the last time I called her, she actually got a boyfriend. Well, to be fair, at the middle, I sort of like flirted with her and called her my older sister for a bit. Um, yeah. And that's how the probably the only person that actually might have feelings for me has just gone away like that just like that and I think I last time her is when I have to leave my hometown for the UK I called her help I suppose sort of like told her farewell you know, she wished me good luck. Yeah. I know, it could be worse, but... Man, it, it still hurts. Like a lot. Um... I, I think when, when it's... On that day... When I um talk with her, she told me about her life. I I I I'm I'm not so sure because I it, it's been a long time actually. I think it's like three years or four years ago. She talked about her life, you know, you just basically a lot of people just come and go in your life. You know, some come, some stay, some go. And, you know, all you have to do is to remember the, the ones that made you feel happy. I think that says a lot, actually. Um, Now, of course I try to like move on from the situation, of course it's, we're probably won't gonna like get together again, 
you know, I'm, I'm quite realistic. I, I won't... I try to not do such things because I... I don't feel like these things kind of... Distract me from the real things in the world. There are like so much more that I want to look at in the world, I mean. But man, that, 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 that... It... it it's... Just... Took so long to forget. It. So I. Sort of. Now. And that and that's what sort of led me into the, you know. The dolly mummy stuff. She she sort of made me realize, I'm a fucking bottom. <laughs> Um, okay, now I think in this part I should make some conclusions. I just talked about the whole story, sort of like the whole idea behind it. Now, the rest I'll probably talk about the facts at hand in my life. First of all, I sort of made me realize that I could just sort of be myself. You know, there's no need to faking it. It just maybe hurt you even more in the long run. Yeah, maybe you maybe try and impress you. You can, you know, put sort of a makeup, make you look present in a more presentable way, I suppose. But you know, faking the whole thing seems, you know, trying too much to be even more presentable to others is not a very good idea and if they're still like into you after that they are probably here there just because of who they think you are and not what you actually are so from that on I try to be myself I suppose um, containing canines around huh? So, so that means dogs. Oh wait, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um. First of all, be yourself, and second of all, I realized I'm a bottom. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Oh, someone just came in to the door. You guys may have to wait a while. Of course, when I first left the UK, I, of course, did miss her. Wishing everything got gone better for me, like maybe I should take a chance. You know, make the first move, something like that. But, it, I, that, that's why I initially miss her ass, you know, maybe as a lover of some sort, but later I miss her as more like, hey, uh, thanks for everything kind of person. You know, I don't think we're gonna be together, but, you know, I, I would love to talk her what that things have been better. Talk her about the fact that things have been better and give updates on my life in general. I think the last message I just, like, DM'd her in Instagram is that, um, 
the fact that I just tell her, hey, I'm going to uni now, and she, all she did is to like the message. So, which isn't much. But I think she knows. That. I, I, I think I already confessed to her. Well, not really. I mean, like, yeah. A couple of times, she always laughed it off. Honestly. But I I think at at the like my last phone call with her she sort of realized you know my feelings were legit <laughs> and I I think she sort of knows that it it's just at this point it's best for me to leave me alone. To be fair, she did call me once because I was just start drawing things a bit suggestive and she sort of freaked out and. Yeah, I kid you not, his boyfriend, my her boyfriend, called me. <laughs> I thought, oh no, what what I have done? <laughs> no, it, it's it's just that both of them just wanna figure out are things okay for me. Although, sorry to say that I did draw not safe for work stuff in the end. <sighs> Other than that, things actually have got better. But for some reason, after seven years, I still fucking miss her. Just why? Just let me wonder. Why? <sighs> I guess only God knows why. At this point, I. Maybe because I was having a bad period of my life, you know, the good things always shine brighter, you know, when things the surrounds things are all dark, like light shines red brighter when things around it is all dark, you know, that's gotta be a somewhat of a metaphor as well. Um. Or maybe I'm just rather susceptible to getting compliments and stuff. Who knows, actually? <sighs> At the end of the day, it's... You know, she has her life now, I have my own life now. For some reason I still miss her, um, and um... What else? I think she made a nickname for me, and yeah, the, the other thing that I sort of made me realize that I sort of want to be a bit more cute, a bit more, a bit more yourself, you know, hence the whole cat boy thing. As you can see, cute little cat boy, haha, <laughs> uwu. And I've started getting into the Onesa and Dami Mummy stuff. Yeah, I got a wish, she, she did put me in that rabbit hole and make me realize my preferences in relationships and girls in general, essentially. Yeah, I know. And of course, there are rumors that, you know, she also treats every guy, I mean, every junior she sees, boy juniors, male juniors, I don't know what she had there. Like that? I don't know. Maybe she is fought? I don't know. But, but I did her hear rumors though. But, but, you know, I don't care. Because I, 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 there are too many rumors in my life. Maybe. Yeah, she, she is in the same situation as me. Who knows? And here's the audio on that other stuff. Actually, it's. And also, the other thing about the reason why I chose this form of character is because I also feel like I've missed 
a lot of good things while growing up, especially love, relationships, getting to know people, going on parties. I tried myself. I just recently went to an orientation camp, a university orientation camp, and I realized that I'm allergic to fun. And in all ways. Yeah, maybe because I'm autistic, but you know, that could be one factor. What else? So that's why I. And also, ever since then, I surprisingly, I for the first long period in my life, I actually not have any crushes since then. She she's like my last crush, major crush at least. I don't know. Or maybe she just set the bar so high that I just. Can't satisfy, get satisfied by other people. Who knows? I just never felt the same. But she gave me a taste of love, and I just wanna. Ugh. I just want more of it, you know. Ugh. I know a lot of my friends have, like my close friends, my only few close friends have heard of this story thousands of times at this point. As I, thousands of versions that I grew up, I of course refined it a bit and forgot a lot more details as I grew up. But the whole gist, the whole feelings, it, I, I can still remember that fateful day in autumn. In the barbecue, look at the stars, figure out the constellations, <sighs> pretending to know some while finding the only ones that I know and failing because of light pollution, obviously. <laughs> Actually, just call me cute with of that. And I didn't even try. That's the kind of girls I want, you know. Just be by her side, just to tell you that you know you don't need to fake pretend. You don't need to you know pretend you're cool and stuff. And she just tell you you're you're fine by me, you know. That's all I need. My request was simple: just a girl to accept who I am. And unfortunately, in today's world, that's already a tall order. That's quite sad, isn't it? Just that. Just to accept who I am, and that's really too much to ask. I miss you, Nat. Sometimes, I mean, all the time. <sighs> I miss you, Nat, though. And also, there's a saying. Well, from the online forums, from my, in my language, is that, you know, there are certain boys that, always, like attract, or attracted to multiple girls at once, and people people call them like similar names to fuck boy or something like that. They say sometimes a fuck boy, you know. One of those just fucking around with other girls. Maybe they were maybe only into one girl, and then all of a sudden his heart broke, and then different pieces of his heart just, you know, went to the different girls. And I feel like 
something like that has happened with me, but instead of girls, it's anime waifus. Which is arguably even worse. <sighs> yeah, thanks, and I get, I get, I guess the last thing I want to say to her is that thank you and fuck you, I suppose. What can I say? Thank you and fuck you. Oh, sorry, my dog said it again. Ah. That bark. I'm sorry, it's my sister's dog. <sighs> She's probably not watching this, so I can just talk whatever I want. Yeah, I defab to you. <laughs> You're such a lovely witch. Put a spell on me and leaving me looking like this. I gotta admit that's a good love spell, I gotta admit. Uh, what a lovely little witch it is. What a lovely little witch. What a lovely little witch. You know what? I think I should like send her this thing. <laughs> and just just to know what she feels. Like what what reaction she gives me. Trust me, it won't be good, but because I, I don't think we're gonna be together anyway, so it's just <sighs> I miss you, Nat. I miss you. <laughs> Look at my eyes blink. <laughs> uh, so that's the story of the lovely little witch that changed everything. Or gonna be, you know, if she wasn't there, I probably would have killed myself. But <laughs> arguably, that's why I think arguably she has a more greater impact in my life than my best friend Mason, actually, who has been through the whole thing with me. Arguably, arguably, arguably even greater impact than my parents. Well, partly because I'm a little rebel. Not gonna lie. One of the most stubborn people you ever exist because I got trained by my dad. Okay, that's another story for another day. Yeah, you, you know what? Let's, let's check her Instagram and see what her life has been. Why not? We're talking about her anyways. Like, to be fair, when I saw her pictures for the first, like, it, during, when I was, like, still in the UK, I thought, um, she got herself a sugar daddy or something, she went witch. Either way, I don't know. She, she man, what? <laughs> she could, she could be my sugar mommy if she's genuinely a witch, but, or maybe she got herself a sugar daddy, I don't know. Nat? Okay. Yeah, she, she, she's she been going places. And <laughs> what the hell? Oh, never mind. Those are just old pictures. Um, Oh, oh, never mind. Those are just school pictures. Oh, oh she, she never posts that much. 
Never mind then. Never mind then. Hmm. <sighs> you know what? Let's do. Um. Oh, oh shit! I think I forgot to do the spiral bus for the last period. Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Before in the stream, wait. Never mind. We actually had the spiral best. Huh? Is there a like like history of spiral best? Hello. Okay. Um. Waning, waxing, waning. Is it now waxing? I don't know really. What period is this called? I don't know, I've probably missed one that I don't know about. Um Mirror Maiden, huh? Alright. Okay, let, let them come to me. Yep. They can finally, like, melt and water. Do this, do this, and this. And then, ah, nice. Oh yeah, um, I finally to mention the fact that I've been um, trying to draw a light novel. Also, I'll try to like maybe in the future I'll update a lot of my uni life. I will definitely make a video, separate video, about how's going on regarding university things because I have did a lot to try to prepare to go in sooner. This month, actually, like I think in two weeks I'll go to university. Yes, I know my university starts very late for some reason. I still don't know why. Okay. Too bad there's a cryo unit. All of a sudden. Okay. Kill me that fast yet. Yeah. 
and um, one more. Hyper bloom your ass. Nice. Thanks for the water. And what now? Oh yeah, Mirror Maiden. I'll just fuck you up. <laughs> it's fun with playing a icy team with. I, I could have gone away with Malcolm, but you know, who cares? I, I have Vape Comp. Sorry, wrong words. This is definitely Vape. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Nahida, do your thing. I just know computer is actually gonna lose because you know I don't need to uh Oh Oh hey Done It's just all ca crowd control really Thank god I got C1 Yelan. And I'm done. Next. Okay, you specters. Um hmm. Oh, you guys did come here. Okay, good. Good good news. Good news. There's only good news coming from a crowd control team. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, the shrooms. Come on me. And hold everything. Put down water. Oh. Hey. And done. Oh yeah, one more. Oh, might as well. It definitely has to do with energy recharge, as well. <laughs> Even though I have no idea what it actually means. <laughs> Probably. Well, sort of. Yeet. Wait. Hyper Blue Green is OP. Okay, come to me. Thank you. Rosaria, do your thing. And then. Uh, nice.
Holy shit, two, two of them. I thought there was only one. Then it would be much easier. Easy, really. That's easy, really. Right. <sighs> oh, yeah. They, they have an update. I haven't watched the trailer yet. Oh yeah. Uh, what's this? I uh, no idea what's that about. I don't know should I put for Nivelet though. I heard he's good. Well, I mean, but but I also want Farina. I also want Venti though. Ah, <sighs> they're making me ha making hard decisions now, huh? I wonder how can I get more of these, you know? Um. Mm hmm. I'm definitely missing something, but I don't know where. Am I missing something? So yeah, I guess... <laughs> Finally something to come with my chest. This is a hard topic to talk about. And because I'm, just, it's been seven years, man. How? <sighs> That's what frustrates me, you know, women. Women. A mystery that even I can't solve. Oh, what is there's a chest? Oh! Huh. <laughs> there's always one or two chests in the cities. I think that's all I need to explain right now. But if then, maybe I met someone better than her, who knows? Maybe I'll always be single. I don't know, really. If I, so, if I've had one, have a nice day. Oh yeah, wait, what? How come people are coming to see me? Hey, 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 I've expl finished explaining everything, man. How you doing, guys? <sighs> oh, guess, I guess I'll just sleep for longer, haha. <laughs> oh yeah, we're just talking about, well, my ex, but not really. <laughs> ah, hey. Oh, well. Hey, wanna comment down? What, what do you want? What, what do we talk, talk more about? Do you want me to continue the story? Or what? There's so much stories that I could tell, you know? <sighs> yeah, speaking of that, um... Yeah, that's her name, by the way. Wait, what? Whoa, what? Wait, what, what, what was it going for? What if I decide to... Huh. 
have a weird idea. Hmm. What if I decide to do this? This looks stupid, but this might lead to something. Who knows, actually. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh well, it's just me then. Uh. Hmm. I want more chests, man. That's all I need. Oh yeah, there's a fishing platform here. Well then. Oh, there's something down there. I haven't realized. Mm, let me just grab this, grab this, and... Not anything. Um, oh well. <laughs> I thought there was going to be something, but no. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh yeah, um, I think during the orientation camp, I like in the middle of the night when I was so super tired, they basically made a game on well, sort of a survey. I don't know. They just asked what our status is. So the the, the game is there are three kinds of English letters that you can go for. One is A, which is available. One is O, which is occupied, which means that you are in a relationship, and C is complicated. And there's a number after that, which means that how many relationships, uh, including the one you're in, you have been. And I realized, all of the girls have past relationships, while 90% of the boys are A0. I think that says a lot about society, you know, can I? Girls, um, why don't you date someone who is maybe no one has ever dated before? Go and have a go, maybe, you know, after I talk a lot about my ex, maybe if you find someone cute, maybe try it out. Maybe go on a date, I don't know. Just go for it. Hey, my, 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 Nat tried. You know. Hey, at least Nat, right? Just give it a chance. A lot, a lot of men need chances, you know. Oh shit! Just give it a chance. Please, ladies. So yeah, I think that's what I have for today. Just reminiscing the past, I suppose.
I think that's all I have for today. Um, See you. And I hope I can share more stories in the future. So yeah. Goodbye.